Hey lovely people, welcome back to another section with Zika. In this video section, I'll be taking us through how to make this wonderful and beautiful kimono that you'll see on my thumbnail in a very simple step. If you're just coming across this um, channel for the first time, you're highly welcome. Highly um, subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever I post a new video. To my existing subscribers, I say thank you for always visiting and thank you for always watching our videos. Just sit back as we roll in this video. is going to be in a very simple step. Right here on my table is a two and a half yard of African print and this is what we'll be using to achieve this. If you're in a bigger size, you can decide to use three but this two and a half is perfect for the kimono jacket that we're about to make and then a black um, material to also do the design in front. I'll be using my tipu, my scissors and the chalk to achieve this. Just sit back as we roll. Okay, on my table right now is a, a working piece. I've gone ahead to fold it into two. And we're go going to be cutting the, um, the back part first before we cut this, um, the front area of the dress. So I'll be going ahead on the borderline to take my shoulder to shoulder measurement. My shoulder to shoulder measurement is um, 18. 18 divided by 2 will give me 9. I've gone ahead to mark that on, that, um, on my borderline. And I've come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. Right now, now, I'm taking my um, shoulder to bust measurement, which is 13 inches, and then to my waist measurement, which is um, 19 inches. Then I'll be going from my shoulder to my hip measurement, which is 27 inches. I'm going to mark that. Then I'll take the length of my dress. I'm going to be taking the full length of the material because that is, is if it is longer, I would have preferred, but this is the length which we'll have. It is 43 in all, as in 44. I'll be using f uh, one inch to hem the down part of the dress. And then um, it's going to be 43 inches when we are done sewing everything. So just watch me as we take our measurement further. I'll be going ahead to take my um, neck width and neck depth. For the back neck, neck width is going to be 4 inches. The neck depth is going to be 1.5 inch. I'm going to mark that and then use my free hand to curve it to give it that perfect neckline that it deserves. After I'm done with the neck area, I'm going to be taking my armhole depth. And from the shoulder to my armhole, I'm going to be taking it from the shoulder, which is my armhole depth is 9 inches. I'm going to mark that as well. Then from there, I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler to do the connection, connect the dot from the shoulder to the armhole. Then I will do my slant the way you're seeing me do right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my boss circumference. My boss circumference is um, 11, which is 44 divided by 4. Then I have 11, 11. Then I'm going to take it and mark it on my armhole. Then I'm going to give my armhole that curve. I'm going to be achieving that with my ruler, my French curve, as you see me do right now. And I'm going to connect the armhole and just give it that curve that it deserves. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect my slant, which I've already identified. I'm going to connect it to the neck line, which I have done. Then I'll be going ahead to take my post circumference. Post circumference is 44. I'm going to mark it and then add 2 inch sewing allowance. Then on my waist area, I'm going to take my waist circumference. My waist circumference is 30. 39. 39 divided by 4 is um, 9.75. I'm going to take that and then add extra 2 inches for the sewing allowance. Then I will mark it. Then I'll proceed to my waist, to my um, hip mesh um, area. Then the hip, my hip is for um, 45 and four. 45 divided by 4 is going to give me 11.25. I'm going to go ahead and mark it and also add my two inches sewing allowance to it then i will once i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and use my ruler 
and connect all the dots that we have just identified. Just watch me as I do this. Once I'm done with the marking, I'm going to go ahead and cut out our measurement, which we have already done. Just sit back as we roll. Okay, here we have it. This is our back part. This is the back end working piece. This is the back end part of the dress. So we'll be going ahead to cut the front part of the dress. For the front part of the dress, I'm going to be going in, I'm going to be reducing one inch from the back area. You can see I've folded the back area. I've used my safety pin to hold it down. This is because I'm going to be adding a black um, material, which is going to be one inch um, in wideness, as in, in width, to replace the one inch that we are removing right now in the front. So once I'm done um, securing the one inch that I just removed from this um, from the back part, I'm going to go ahead and just trace out the back part with the scissors. Just watch me as I do so. Once I'm done pinning down the dress to make sure I, I, I secure it in place, I'll go ahead and cut it out and trace it out. So just watch me. Once I'm done tracing this out, I am going to go ahead and then mark out our neck, neck um, depth because the neck depth for the front area will be bigger than that of the back. For the front neck width and neck depth, it's going to be a four by four, four, four wide and four in, four um, inches um, deep. So I'm just going to mark that, use my French cover and connect it, then I will cut it out. Just watch me as I do so. Once I'm done with the neck area, I'm going to be splitting open the, the front part of the dress because it's open. You can see that the kimono is open. This is our work piece, the front and the back piece laid together. Thank you for watching. If you have watched up to this extent, I say thank you. Kindly hit the like button as we proceed on this. Thank you for sitting through. Okay, we'll be going ahead to cut out the front as in what we, the design we'll be using for the front area. Look at it. It is a two-piece cut out. Yes, the width in a, on a foot of two is one and a half inches. While the length itself is about 50, 53 inches. So I have cut it to, I had to make it excess, instead of it to be shorter after attaching it to the dress, I had to make it longer so that any excess that we have at the end of the day, after we have finished attaching it to the dress, I'm going to cut it out. It's better to have excess than to have shortage. So I've cut it to, so we'll be going ahead to use our safety pin to attach it to the dress that we'll be using it for. Just sit back as we do this. Please just watch closely so that you will see the way I am attaching it to the dress. I'm going to use safety pin to hold it down the way you see me do. I, I first of all turned it to the right side. Then I had to lay the this thing. I had to lay the, the back as in the black stuff on it. Then I'm going ahead to pin it to save to pin it down with my pin. So once I'm done with this part of the front, I'm going to do that to the part, the other part of the front as well. So just watch me as I do this. All right, you can see me cutting out the excess that we already have. You can see it, everything is ready. So I'm going to be heading over to the sewing machine to stitch it down by half an inch. I'm going to do that on, on this other part and do it on the other part. You know, we have two pieces for the front area. So I'm going to head over and stitch it. Once I'm done with that, I am going to bring it so that we'll see it together. 
before we go ahead, we're going to be joining the shoulder as well in this move. So I'm going to go ahead and join the shoulder by half an inch, the shoulder by half an inch. So once I'm done with the shoulder and then attaching the front, I'm going to bring it so that we'll see. We can see it on the table. I've already done joining the front area. You can see how it's looking and the shoulder is also looking perfectly well. We'll be going ahead to cut out the design we'll be using for the neck area. To get the perfect measurement for your neck, you just take your tape rule and go around the neck that we have already joined to get the perfect measurements. I always do this on my channel. You guys know that. So after measuring that, I had 23. So I'm going to go ahead and then... Um, take my 23 from there. The length of this is 20, 27. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 23. I'm not going to be um, cutting out exactly 23. I'm going to be adding one inch because I'll be joining the two sides, the two ends by half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and do my machine and join it by half an inch. Then once I'm done joining it, I'm going to flip it over. Right now, I'm done joining it. I'm, I've already gone ahead to even flip it over. So the length that we'll have there and the width, the length is um, um, for 24 inches, while the width itself is one and a half. So I'm going to be using half inch to join it to the neck. So look at the way I'm going to be joining it. Just pay attention to this. So I'll just open it up. Once I open it up, I'll use one area of the, because it's on a fold of two already. I'm going to use one area and attach it to the clothes itself just watch me as I do so so once I'm done securing it down with my safety pin I'm going to head over to the machine and join it with the machine by half an inch so once I'm done with that I'm going to bring it over so that we'll see okay I am done joining the um, the neck a uh, the neck um, design to it so what will I be doing is we're going to be joining the other part of the neck I just joined one part, so we're going to join the other one. So to do this, I'm going to fold it in by half an inch. Look at the way I'm arranging it. Fold it in by half an inch. Use my safety pin to hold it down. So once I'm done doing this all around, I'm going to also take it over to my machine and then stitch it down the way you're going to see me do so that it will look perfect and okay. So I'm going to go over to my machine and join it just the way you have seen me pin it down. All right, I am done with the neckline. See the neck area is looking very okay and fine look at the neck it's looking well finished and okay all right we are going to go ahead and work on the sleeve after this so mine is going to have a sleeve if you want yours not to have a sleeve to do is just cut out a bias use the material and cut out a bias and turn the um, armhole that's the thing you're going to be doing but mine i'm going to be making it to have uh, a sleeve and it's going to be a long sleeve it is basically the way we cut our basic sleeve that's the way i cut this out if you have if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve i have a link i have a video on my channel just go head over and watch that the length of my sleeve like i told you it's a long sleeve the length of my sleeve is 25 so that is exactly what you have there i use the black to do a design on it so you can see and then the pocket i have already cut out the pocket as well because i like pockets a lot so i've gone ahead to cut out the pocket and then the length of the sleeve the length of my pockets is um it's um 13 by um 8 inches 13 length and 8 inches wide so we're going ahead to attach the sleeve to the dress with our safety pin so just watch me as i do so before i go do that i'm going to be identifying the center center of the sleeve and i'm going to do this by giving it a notch once i'm done with that i'm going to the place i just notched i'm going to make sure it aligns with the place i joined the back and the front together once i align it like that i'm going to go ahead and then use my safety pin to attach it to hold it well so this is just the, the notching is to help you identify the center so that the two centers will align together the center of the shoulder and the center of the sleeve we're going to align together so i'm going to do this i'm going to go ahead and hold it with my safety pin once i'm done with the this one side of the of the sleeve i'm going to do that on the second part of the sleeve then i will head over to my machine and join it by half an inch once i'm done joining it by half an inch then i will come back so that we'll also go ahead and join our pockets okay right now you can see that the 
sleeve is already joined i've already finished attaching it to the material itself the main dress itself so what are we going to be doing we're going to be heading over to attach our pockets i'm going to be identifying the place that the pocket will be sitting i'm meant to um, attach the pocket at the, at the waist level so i'm going to identify from the shoulder i'm going to identify the waist and then i will attach it from there so from the shoulder i measured 19 inches which is where my uh, waist started then i will just attach it from there i'm going to do it on the both side as you're seeing me do right now there are a lot of ways to attach pocket the one you finish joining the two sides before you attach and then this particular one that you have to attach the pocket before you start joining the two sides it all depends on you you know the one that can work for you anyone you know how to do you fix your pocket that way so you can see the way i'm doing this one right now i've not gone ahead to join the both side and you can see that my pocket is in four pieces two for this side, left side two for the right side so you can see the way i'm going ahead to join it right side facing uh, right side facing, facing each other and then i pinned it down then that is what i'll be doing for the four as in the two places two by this side and two by the side uh, right hand side and two by the left hand side so once i'm done pinning it this way i'm going to go ahead and attach it to the clothes just watch me as i do so you can see the way i am pinning it down i'm done with that side i'm going to go ahead and join this other side as well So once I get head over to my machine, I'm going to attach the pocket to the dress the way you see me pin it down by half an inch. I'm going to attach it to the both sides. Then I will go ahead and then join the sides. I'll go ahead and join the sides starting from the sleeve. I'm going to be joining it by one inch. Starting from the sleeve, I'm going to be joining it by one inch. When I get to the pocket area, I'm going to go in the way you see me demonstrating on the video. You can see the way I'm going to go ahead and join it. And then I'll come out by the side again and then sew it down with one inch. On the pocket, I'm going to be attaching the two by half an inch. Then I'll just go around the pocket and then continue by the sides. That's what I'll be going ahead to do on the machine right now. Just watch us as we do this. Alright, here we have it. I've already gone ahead to join all the things that I need to join. I've joined the sides, I've joined the pockets, I've joined everything that needs to be joined. You can see how good the our kimono is looking. You can see how our jacket is looking. It's looking very, very okay. Look at the neck, look at the sides, look at the, 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 the front side, look at the sleeve and every other thing. Yeah, the finishing is perfect. So what is the next thing I'll be doing? I'll be going ahead to iron it, iron it down. But before I go ahead to iron it, I'm going to hem the down part. You know how to hem. I'm going to fold it to by half an inch, half an inch, fold it by half an inch, fold it again by half an inch, that double folding it, and then I'll stitch it down. I've already gone ahead to even sew a belt, belt to use and to use to hold it. That's this is optional. If you want to use belt, if you want to use button, you can go ahead and do that. So once I'm done, we are going to see the perfect finishing. Correct. Look at it on my mannequin. Looking very beautiful and nice. If you really enjoyed this um, video, which I know you did, kindly give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our page, kindly do so. Kindly subscribe to our page. Hit on the like button. Hit on the um, notification bell so that you always be among the first to get notified whenever I post a new video. Kindly share to your friends and families so that they can join us on this channel. I love you guys. See you in my next. Bye.